We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between... Digging in, Dante Vaughn. He'll get us started in this one Leading under the lights. For Colorado, the second baseman, number five. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. And guys, as we take a look at the Twins at the start of play here tonight, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matty, dropping their last game. Batting second, the second baseman, Louis. Fastball swung on and hit to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to Murphy's oh. in time, and there are two gone now. The next twin up, Eddie Rosario. That he was one for four back in Wednesday's field. contest. Eddie. Drop down here, Rosario. and he'll try to beat it out. And he'll step on oh. first himself for the out. <laughs> Digging in for his second at-bat, Dante Vaughn. He flew out in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And there's a line drive the base hit to left field. Stepping up now, Rymel Tapia. The center fielder, Rymel Tapia. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Line toward the gap in left center. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Throw won't get him. And from the list of stats you never want to hear if you're a pitcher, we have this. It's only the third inning, and he's already allowed more hits than he did in his entire last outing. The 1-1 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to first. To second for one. On to first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. Up next for Minnesota, Max Kepler. The first baseman, Max Kepler. On the ground to second base. This could be two. There's one. Back to Murphy. Not in time, and they'll get just the one out. Josh Donaldson digging in now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Donaldson. to third. Arenado's got it. One there. On to Murphy. It's a double play, and that ends the inning. All right, come on now. One Into the box, Dante Vaughn. One for two on his line so far in the game. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Rosario. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So striding forward now, Dante Vaughn. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. and A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. The 1-1 home. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. In comes the center fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So coming to the plate, Eddie Rosario. No hits no for him yet field. in the game despite Eddie. his team's offensive onslaught. Rosario. Runs this one down. Throw on to second for the force and the side is retired. At the plate, Luis Arias, oh, three for three. four so far, and seeing it well baseman. in this ball game. Oh, a one-two oh, yeah. pitch on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, oh. but a good scoop at first saves an error as this Trevor May comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 65. Now at the plate, Dante Vaughn. He'll be charged with trying to get on board, leading off the ninth. 
And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Ah, but that finds the first baseman. 8-4 tonight. The Minnesota Twins get their 20th home win this year. Devin Smeltzer wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. For the victorious Twins, eight runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. Afternoon baseball. He Digging in now, Dante Vaughn, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The afternoon for Colorado, the second baseman. Number Hit five. in the air to center field. Buxton is right there, one down. Into the box now, Dante Vaughn. He flew out in his last at bat. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. Arise, ranges back, and he has it for out. Standing in, Dante Vaughn. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is there, two gone. In now, Dante Vaughn. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Arise, trying to get there. He can't get there as it falls in. Striding in, Kevin Pillar. He's two for three and looking for more here. Hey, come on now, one time, right here, right here. A bullet to first base. Tries to dance back to the bag to double off the runner, but not in time. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. A 1-1. Lifted the other way out to left center. Chasing after it is Rosario. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The tag, and he's out at second. It's a double play. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Miguel Sano. Go for two for him to this point. Hit round a second. And that's through for a hit. The relay throw, and he is in there at third is the possible go-ahead score. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Dante Vaughn. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. No balls and a strike to count. Hey, hey, clutch out for us right here. You're the 0-1. Here we go. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Therefore, it is Donaldson, and there are two away now. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. No hits to this point. Nelson Cruz. Now a ball hit hard towards center. And that's in for a base two, hit. Two, two. Make it a one for three games so far. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get... Deep enough into the gap. Story picks it up, and he'll go the short way to retire the side.
Digging in, Dante Vaughn. The second baseman, Dante Vaughn. Here's the first pitch, grounded to short. And that's through, a base hit. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. In now for Colorado, Kevin Pillar. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. Nice execution right there. Ball was down below the knees. He stayed through it and was able to drive it for a base hit. Now at the plate, Charlie Blackman. He was a double play victim last time around. A 1 2 pitch to short. Get out, get out, get out. And it's get not out. in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. So a big moment in the ball game here. Trevor Story as he'll hit with the go ahead run at third and two away. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself and a great. Well, everyone was treated to a really well-played ball game in this one, and the guy you see there turned in a particularly notable performance, so he's our top player of the game the in this one. Win. Four runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left 16 men on base. MLB, the show's come. Striding in, Dante Vaughn. He will lead this one off today. The second baseman. Here's the first pitch to him. A bouncer up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And just one batter in, the Twins will have to handle a threat on the base pass. A nice piece of hitting right there. When you're facing a young blood on the mound, young starting pitcher, you want to get him into the stretch as quick as possible. You want to see how he handles the moment, see if maybe you can run up. And hold on there. He got him. Trying to swipe second base, but he's gunned down for the end. So digging in now, Williams Ostadio. And now the Twins look to plate more in the opening frame. Ostadio. This on the ground is short. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. Hey, see it. Striding, Striding in for the Rockies, Dante Vaughn. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Coming to the plate now, Nelson Cruz. Now batting, right fielder. Nelson. Cruz. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2. So the Rockies lineup turns over and to the plate. Dante Vaughn. He flew out in his last at bat. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. Hey, have a good rip up there, Hulk. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend and he stays hot here with another extra base hit they'll be happy and they got him trying to pick things up where he left off Dante Vaughn he'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here oh look at Gonzalez the throw it's there he got him Now hey, back to the top of the lineup, the stepping ball. in, Dante Vaughn. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, that's inside. 
Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw it. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. That one is out of here. This game is tied. So that's his first home run in the big leagues, and it's fair to say it's a moment he'll never forget. Well, there's no doubt about that, Matt. People ask him 50 years from now who he hit it off of and what stadium he was playing in, and he'll remember it all. Heck, he'll probably remember what kind of pitch it was, too. Hopefully he can get the ball back so that can go in his trophy case forever. As we wrap this one up tonight, it's time to show our appreciation for the man you see there, Nelson Cruz. Can't ask for much more. He's our tops player of the, the game. Score for the yeah, Japanese just a ball great all-around performance from him at the plate. As the stats indicate, ended up with four hits, including a...